dude, what's up with all this? What, what did you, I mean, this is soaked. What did you, I mean, I saw you chasing a tractor down the road, but what in the world did you get into? Anyway, we need to talk about your duties and what exactly you're supposed to bark at. Because I'm pretty sure the tractor was not going to attack you. And what is your job around here anyways, Bandit? What exactly do you do? Bandit, what do you do around here? Besides eat all the dog food. Anyway. Come get a new bandana, dog. Your other one's soaked. Look, you're all cleaned up. Look at you. So handsome. Who's your handsome boy? I'm going to make use of all this. Yeah. All right, Charlie. That? All right, see now you do this so that it comes out easier. See that? Now you save the nails, right? Yeah. All right, keep saving the nails. We can use them for another project. So we just gotta measure these out and make sure that when we measure them, that we keep the same process going the same distance. Now, we can make something like this four inch. It doesn't have to be five or anything crazy. Eight or nine or something like that. Like not ten inches. I think I think five inch cuts will be pretty good. Yeah. Be steep enough and level enough. So we'll just do five inch cuts, and we'll keep the five inch cuts going all the way. Okay. And. Thank you very much. We'll get these cut. Yeah, it looks like that's going to even out just fine. And then yeah. we're going to sand it and make it nice and level once we finish this up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, Bandit will learn real quick. It's a danger zone once I start cutting. And we got Zoe down here the whole <laughs> the whole The whole fam is at it. Hi, Dad. Look at me, Dad. I got to look at your zero. I know, kid. You got to stay <laughs> So I got all my blocks cut. This is gonna be for the knife throwing board. And the next step you're gonna wanna do, I'm just sort of figuring out, I wanna figure out which boards I wanna get for the sides. Don't worry about the, I was already throwing knives at them. Uh, don't worry about the height of these if you cut one a little bit too short because I'm gonna fix that in the end anyways. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you, you wanna use something, if it's gonna be outdoor, if you're gonna, my my knife throwing stuff, I'm not going to be throwing knives and shooting arrows and crap in the basement. So, <laughs> uh, go outside with that trash. So, my outdoor glue, I'm going to use uh, uh, Tight Bond. And this is the number three version. The original isn't waterproof. And part two is waterproof, but it's not, um, it's, it's not waterproof. It's water resistant. And to get waterproof, you've got to buy type three. Now they, they go up in levels of your wood glue. And this is the one you want to get for interior, exterior. This is the best one to buy type three for projects like this. And you don't need a whole lot of it. This is about the size tube you're going to get. It's about five bucks. And uh, cost of wood and everything. Like I said before, I'd scored all this for free. And I, I scored this. People were just going to throw this stuff away. They were odd, long cut. They were weird shapes. And they weren't long enough to make a fence row out of. So I got them all for free. And I can use them for my knife throwing boards. Best size to use is 4x4s. Four it's the best best size. 2x4s are cool and all. But here's the thing. You've got to cut them so many flipping times. Let me grab a... Here's a chunk I cut off earlier. From some old an old piece of uh but you can see the difference here for those of you that just don't do this stuff a lot <laughs> could you imagine having to cut a bunch of two by fours down so you're gonna have to make the same cuts that i made twice and so everything i did you'll have to do two times it'll be 10 times longer <laughs> times two longer to, to that process plus the amount of glue you're going to use is a lot more all right so I'm going to glue all these together, I'm going to stack them in a sandwich, and then I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to have to let all of them dry overnight. Each row, I'm going to basically be gluing these together, and I'll show you that. It's great to have all this space now. 
I can do all the cutting I want, build everything I want. It's it's so it's so nice. And I actually was able to pull out all my welding equipment and set it all up. It's so nice, man. All right. So uh, you look for your goofy ends where you cut. Uh, I don't have a, a deeper blade, so I've got to kind of cut and then spin it and then cut again. So just bear with me. Now all I'm going to be doing for these is for each one, just layer up some glue. It doesn't have to be super crazy. A uh, nice flush with each one, and then we'll sandwich them all together in the end. And just put these together, just like that, and just keep the process going. And you're just going to let these set and dry, and they'll dry up nice and neat for you. Try and find a good, good side. This one's got a little chunk taken out of it, so I think this is probably my best side here. Doesn't matter if it's got whatever on it. Just leave it there. The glue will do the rest. Just keep them. You're stacking them up just like Lego blocks. This is one way of doing it. You could just go to Harbor Freight and get yourself a clamp to do this process. Or you could just do it the way I'm doing it. I'm doing it this way. And some folks uh, will do it their way. Right? Isn't that how it works? You do it your way. I do it. Sometimes my way is easier, and then sometimes someone else figures out a better way. This one is kind of chunky there at the end. I'm going to sand that off so it's no big deal. That's what I was trying to say to you guys. These lips, don't worry about that. I'll sand that off in the end. And this one here, I'm just going to sort of leave like this. anyway. But you just continue the process for each stack. And... In the end, you'll have a nice, nice throwing board. And I'll set up the whole thing for you guys so you can see it. And do that. Oh, yeah. Keep it going. Keep it going. Got them all stacked up and drying. I just added some weights to the tops of them just to weight them down. Let them dry overnight. Come back tomorrow and glue them all up. Sandwich them together. Put some weights on it. Then let it dry that way. And then we'll get it mounted to the board. Uh, been letting them dry for a while uh let's see it's toying around with that one that one looks like it's holding together for now and and i just wanted to check one of them real quick so i can go ahead and start stacking them they're not meant for load until they they recommend six hour cure time you let them you can clamp them for 24 uh as you were 24 minutes or so um, or 45 minutes and so roughly around that that range you can unclamp them so that means you can take the weights off of them and just let them sit and from that means you can't load anything on them unload unstressed so these are unloaded unstressed and so you can still move them around so that gives me the opportunity to go ahead and apply glue to the other side and stack them so that's what i'm going to do now and get that part over with and then start drying them i don't have clamps that are big enough but once this dries in the morning i'm going to be able to lay this down flat and i'll show you guys how to even all that stuff out where you see these uneven lips and the spaces between i'm going to fill those as well with wood glue it it's fd approved so <laughs> you can you can eat off your blades once you're done throwing knives at it, right? All right, anyways, but uh, we'll wrap this up in the morning. I can't ever play the music that's playing in the background. I always have to turn the volume down before I start filming again. <laughs> Listen to some Aerosmith in the background. It's awesome. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do a piece of plywood for this on the back side. And this isn't the back side. This is the front side, and I've got to sand this side. But the back side, I want to do uh, some plywood. So... I'm going to coat this and then I'm going to lay my project on there and, and start cutting all my boards to fit this. I'm actually uh, going to set this on the floor and let it dry that way, let it cure that way. Add some more weights to it, let it hold it down. But you can take this and sort of apply it. It's like uh, putting mustard on a hot dog, right? So you just sort of coat it all around. And this will be good. Everything's uh, everything's pressure treated. Everything's ready for 
the elements here it gets like 100 degrees outside 90 humidity so uh, you got to make sure you build the project for that type of weather it's like one of those uh fa fancy meals you get in one of the fancy restaurants right look see i could have been one of those culinary specialists you can just picture this as like uh, some kind of butter sauce or something right <laughs> anyway all right so there's that some some folks will take in a uh they take a flat piece uh, uh something to spread this and credit card style and they'll spread this all nice and neat over the project before they apply but i don't have any like solid flush surfaces so it's kind of hard to do that with this situation so i'm going with that uh culinary specialist style and uh, i'm gonna add my project on here now i'm just using i've got went ahead and put wood screws in this board that's on top of this and i'm kind of going through and there's a couple of little spots i want to get I'm using these leftover nails nails that we picked up from the other project just kind of nails are better because if a blade a blade happens to go that deep and hits one of them it just kind of diverts around it instead of like a screw and if it hits that you know but they're not going to be in that far you would it would <laughs> it would take some uh, a serious blade a heavy axe or something to get that far just kind of tapping these in because the nails are re-bent back into position that's measuring these boards these are going to be the side boards for the project and i'm going to measure set them up there and just cut them make sure you got and then they're they're going to be matching sets pretty much for the sides and, and for the tops and the bottoms thanks sip okay there's the top and the bottom all right there's all four sides now i just got to do some screws i got to screw it all together this will keep the project nice and secure i'm just doing three and three on the, each corner. I do one in the center just to secure it to the project while I do the rest. It is heavy. It is a lot of wood. So I already had a split in that board. That's what you get when you uh, don't pay for your lumber. Oh. Don't know how much this thing weighs, but I'm sure it's pretty heavy. Let's break that one back out. Well, it's about over, so nothing to see here. All right, I went ahead and put wedges in it around the sides here, keep it nice and tight. And I'm going to be using my uh, this is my DeWalt, and this is one of my sanding blades, or sanding uh, discs for this. And I'm going to be using the PFF 115-22A24. So if you're looking for that, that's the one. The grit is 24. So that's the Alpha, Alpha 24. All right. But it looks something like this. Kind of. Make a nice and smooth. Very nice together. tell you real quick dust everywhere geez so just to tell you real quick this this thing weighs as much as a kitchen table it, by the time you're done and you want to make sure something that the the wife noted she come down here and says you know when you set that up you you're going to carry it outside first right and that's i said you know what i'm glad you said something because i almost didn't think about it and <laughs> to do the legs the side legs to prop this thing up or whatever you're going to mount it to 
make sure you get this thing outside first if you're working inside a shed or a garage or whatever but i gotta make sure i carry this outside before i go set it up all right now i'm just going to add some red mahogany i'm not going to burn any of this like i normally would do i'm just going to add some stain to it and it's already got enough crazy designs here and i could just add this and see how she looks i went ahead and sanded it all the way around i got every little corner now the sun's going to do a number on this so when it's sitting outside it's going to have a different look to it this red mahogany is going to definitely start turning colors have that crazy brown look to it i just have to get this applied and uh, then i can take it outside let it dry for a little bit but this should give it a nice cool brown look or gray but this should be a nice pretty color to have this as a board you guys can see it already i'm sure it's like a deep chestnut kind of color it's really really pretty color all right all right there's my red mahogany at this point what it kind of looks like it's like i said it's that deep brown and you might see this a lot of crazy little competitions that they do but I always like that brown chestnut kind of color and I thought it would look good on here to be outside. But it's getting hold. It's getting hold? Yep. All right. Held, whatever. Yeah, it didn't quite make it. You need a longer one. That's what she said. You want to check though? All right, it's in there. That's what she said. Uh -huh. She is. I haven't stained the rest of it yet, but went ahead and just braced it up. I didn't drive it into the deck like you would think. I just braced it up for now until I figure out what else I'm going to put out here. Because I know just up over the hill, we're going to have gongs for shooting. And then over this way is going to be the garden area. And we've got to build a fence for that to keep critters out. And that's our burn. We're going to burn that pretty soon. So anyway, but got to throw something at it. Oh well. I'm gonna miss one every now and then. They'll stick. It's all about the technique. <laughs> and that happens too <laughs> it's all good anyway all right there you have it there's the uh the new knife throwing board needed one i love doing that for recreation and it's good like having friends over go outside do stuff like this you know toss a couple of cold ones together and then someone stands up there and dodges the knife who wants to come volunteer i'm just kidding anyway all right god bless you guys take care